This is the Rentley hub. This is the Rentley motion sensor. And this is the Rentley door sensor. Okay. Today we're going to show you about the Rentley door sensor. This is the door sensor. Uh, to include it into the hub, once you call Chris, he will advise you to pull the tab on the back and stick it on top of the hub or as close as possible within 12 inches. This process may take up to two minutes. Okay. Now that the sensor has been included into the hub, we are going to test it by putting the magnet next to the sensor and pulling it apart, you'll see the red light flash. That means that the sensor is working properly. Really? Now we're going to show you if the sensor was not included into the hub, how to exclude it. You're going to want to remove the front cover, remove the battery, and reinsert the plastic tab back in through the hole on the back side. and reinsert the battery. Now you can reinsert the front cover and then when prompted we will have you remove the plastic tab again and put it near the or on top of the hub. Once the sensor has been removed from the Rentley hub we will try to re-include it again after this. Okay. This is the Rentley motion sensor. We are going to show you how to add it to the hub you're going to want to remove the plastic tab and place it on top or as near as possible to the Rentley hub. This may take up to two minutes. If the Rentley motion sensor failed to be added to the hub, we are now going to show you how to exclude it from the hub. You're going to want to open the case. and remove the battery and reinstall the plastic tab through the back side of the motion sensor and reinstall the battery and front cover Now when prompted, we will have you remove the plastic tab from the motion sensor and stick it back on top of the hub. Once it has been removed from the hub, we will let you know. Once the motion sensors and door sensors have been added to the Rentley hub, please refer to the owner's manual for installation of the brackets. If you have any questions, please call Chris.